Good morning, Richland High School, and thank you for viewing Ram TV. Today is Monday, September 29th. Here is what is happening at Richland High School. Monday, September 29th, 4 o'clock, football, junior, boys junior varsity at Bishop McCourt. 4 o'clock p.m. soccer girls varsity at Cambria Heights. 4 o'clock p.m. tennis girls varsity at Bishop McCourt. 6.30 p.m. soccer boys varsity versus Cambria Heights. Student dismissal times are as follows. Monday, September 29th, varsity girls soccer, 2 o'clock. Varsity girls tennis, 2.30. JV football, 2.30. Best of luck to all sports teams playing today. Today's lunch menu is pasta with meat sauce and with dinner roll. French Club. There will be a French Club meeting on Wednesday, October 1st. The meeting will be held at 7 a.m. in C105. All members should attend this meeting. Intramurals. Today's 8th grade line soccer game will be between Team 2 and Team 3. Today's 7th grade line soccer, Tuesday's 7th grade line soccer game is between Team 2 and Team 3. It's time for SAD's annual Safe Sofa Contest. The winner of the contest and two guests will sit on our safe sofa to watch on an RHS football game on October 3rd at the Richland versus Johntown football game. You will be served food from the concession stand by our SAD members in order to win. Post a sober selfie on Instagram and tag at RHS SAD. Place a caption that says why you say no to destructive decisions. Have the photos posted by October 1st in order for a chance to win. See you at the game. Attention all RPAC and future members of the theater and on stage and backstage. Safety training will be provided on Thursday, October 2nd, 7 to 9 in the theater. This is required of all students who will be working on sets and performing on stage this school year. Attention Physics Club. The next Physics Club meeting will be held on Wednesday, October 1st, immediately after school. Students in grades 10, 11, and 12 invited to the Super 60 brunch are reminded to turn in your reservation form to the guidance office by October 6th. Please check the school bulletin every day for all announcements. And now for the weather. Good morning, Ram Nation. I'm Noah Glacky, Ram TV Chief Meteorologist. The high temperature today is 74 degrees and the low is 50. It's perfect weather for boys soccer game tonight as there's no rain in the forecast. It could get a little bit chilly though, so you might want to bring a jacket to senior night at the boys soccer game. Go Rams! Hi, I'm here with your current events for September 29, 2014. Protests over the death of Mike Brown are still continuing in Ferguson, Missouri. The local police chief released an apology over the situation and the force's reaction in a video last week but the video was met with many demands for his resignation. Parliament in the UK has announced its plan to take part in airstrikes against ISIS in the Middle East, which has resulted in split reactions by British residents. The College Board recently shared its support for the students in Colorado who are prote protesting an attempt by school administration administrators to eliminate certain topics from in the AP US history course. The organization Organizations say that any censorship in the course will result in the class being unable to be labeled in AP course. That's it for your world news. See you tomorrow. So Russell, how does it feel to be homecoming king? I guess good. You guess. Well, how did it feel when you were announced the king? Surprised and I don't know why me. Ah, oh, it's okay. We're proud. Thank you. When we were young, we played a game called Hangman. The rules were simple. Try to guess secret letters to spell a word to save the man's life. Guess the wrong letters enough times and the man gets hanged. Which taught us that if we say the wrong things, a fictitious man's life ends. But what if I told you that we were still playing? What if I told you that every interaction with any given human is like hangman? And where your words and actions are submitted like letters. See, in the game, you can keep guessing. Letter after letter, paper after paper, hanged man after hanged man, until you finally got it right. Until you finally won. But if the man in hangman was actually real, wouldn't you be more inclined to think before you spoke? We so carelessly litter our minds with such hateful words, hateful speech, that we forget that we're not dealing with a stick figure. And maybe it's easier to hate. Maybe it's easier to focus on the lives of others. Because the answers to the questions like, how tight is the noose around my neck? How many letters do I have left? Is anybody even trying to get me down from here? Is anybody even trying to win my game? Is anybody even trying to save me? Are too scary for us to face, let alone know the answer to. One thing I noticed about this game 
game is that we draw the man being hung when we get a letter incorrect. But that's not right. We've taught ourselves to be defined by the mistakes or the imperfections, and we forget to build ourselves up with the positive answers. And only when we get it right does the person not get hanged. However, we never draw the person coming down. We just crumple up the paper and start again. But that's not right either. The condition of victory shouldn't be to pause the hanging. It should be to save the person from the gallows, to erase the words that put you there, and to internalize the words that set you free. But this is real life. Our words are marked in ink, not lead. Our actions cannot be erased. And we only get one sheet of paper. So ask yourself, which words are gonna solve the puzzle? And which words are you gonna let tighten the noose? Just keep in mind, each interaction is like a game of hangman. And you never know when your hurtful words could be their last letter. Light is a feather when I'm floating through, reading through the daily news, measuring the hurt within the golden rule. Centimeters of ether. Have, Have a, a great, great day. day.